Did you receive disturbing- Oh! Hey y'all, Attorney Tom here. If you haven't noticed, I am in my new office that is on the blimp, obviously. I mean, just look at how much space. Amazing! Look at that! That looks like what you would buy from a store. Should have been look a at all this more space. It's definitely not a big deal or anything, and we definitely do not have borderline ridiculous content planned. Because after all, I'm a lawyer, and we must make legal related content that is very educational and boring <gasps> now that that's out of the way let's go to the subreddit leave hypotheticals in the subreddit guys and i'll give an answer usually it's in defense so i'm going to go to top sort by month and let's jump into it so let me get this right the top post on my subreddit is another texas Personal injury lawyer? Bruh. What the f y'all? Come on. Hurt my feelings. Hurt my feelings. And if you haven't noticed, I'm also rolling out a new phone number for billboards. 855 Tom Wins. 855 Tom Wins. I'm gonna start doing billboards because I'm going to take over the legal world. And y'all listen, I'm sure Matt Flannery is a cool MF or blah blah blah. Don't call him. Call 855-TOM-WINS. 855-TOM-WINS. Or else. French school asks parents to stop throwing children over the fence when they're late. Normal parents, French parents. Yeet. Okay. I'm not gonna hate this subreddit so much. Now let's talk about the law. Can we talk about the law? Please, Mac, I'm dying to talk about the law with you all day, okay? OSHA can't get you if you are in Mexico. You're right, OSHA is specific to the United States of America. But also, I love this whole meme on the internet that OSHA is out to get you, or they're the bad guys. I, I, the whole point of OSHA is to prevent you hanging from the rafters of, of a building. My lawyer, after upgrading my parking ticket to a death sentence. <laughs> What's funny is that there's only $200 displayed in this photo. I'm not even gonna answer your phone call for $200. I'm actually just kidding. As a catastrophic personal injury lawyer, I work on a contingency fee. Found Tom during a picture during college. I know this is fake because there's only two girls. Rachel, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. Do y'all not see how six foot one I am? I mean, just get... Is there a possible case here? So I almost died at school today. Not a bottle of water. What does that say? Hand sanitizer. Wow. Yeah, I definitely think you could make a case that that hand sanitizer bottle is negligently designed because it's designed to look like a water bottle, meaning a mistake is foreseeable. So if somebody accidentally drank hand sanitizer and you didn't spit it out immediately and you got hurt from it, uh, I could see a case. Who is liable? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh! Ooh! Okay, so very broad analysis. My first instinct is you go to the premises owner. Why were they allowed to go down the ramp and fly when somebody was up there? Should somebody at the premises be keeping an eye out? But if you've ever been to a skate park, I can almost certainly guarantee you that they probably signed some form of liability waiver. So then I go to this guy who's flying in the air. Why did he decide to jump when somebody was in the path and why was he going so fast and why was he aimed in a direction where he wasn't just going to land in the ball pit oof y'all this is a great knowledge hammer opportunity i don't have the knowledge hammer oh, but man. i do have the knowledge ruler the knowledge tape measure <laughs> I have the knowledge tape measure. Do you know what? Let me show you what this person gets. They get a two incher, two inches, which I heard is actually above average. How many OSHA violations can Tom spot? Is that live wire? Oh! Oh! 
it was live. Three inches. I don't really know how this uh, this this metric is going to work. I think I just created a monster with the knowledge tape measurer. Man invents cure for cancer immediately kicks nearby baby. Curing cancer? Infinity inches. <laughs> Are this getting out of hand? No more no more knowledge ruler. I bet she is innocent. Author of How to Murder Your Husband on Trial accused of murdering her husband. If you commit a crime, do not post it on social media or write a book about it. Half an inch. <laughs> Yo, attorney Tom just came into my work this morning and I gotta talk to him. I can confirm this is true. This guy's name is Austin. He was very nice and uh, we got a chat. This was like the third or fourth time I'd ever been recognized in the wild. Let's read the comments. You were gonna preschool how? Oh my God, okay. No, it was a restaurant. It was a restaurant. Was he so tiny that he could dance in the palm of your hand? No, he's actually a lot taller in person. Look at that. I'm just, I'm just saying, this person met me in person. You know it's true. You know it's true. Can a cat get charged with murder? How to tell if your cat is plotting to kill you? You know what, honestly, you can learn a lot from cats. Have you ever seen a cat get charged with murder? Have you ever seen a cat be convicted of murder? No, you know why? It's because they keep their Meow. mouth shut. The best attorney in America. Has your family been taken by a corporate mascot? Were you extorted by an enormous green owl? Have you been physically or emotionally injured by Duolingo? Did you want to learn a new language but lost your streak and your loved ones? Did you receive disturbing threats such as Spanish or Vanish, French or the Trench, Japanese or Broken Knees? If you're a victim of the Duolingo owl, you're not alone. Hi, I'm Peter Francis Manchetti, attorney at law. Over the past decade, I've recovered 537 family members, friends, and precious pets from Duo. Now let me and my elite team of legal professionals at Manchetti and Sons LLC. I need a legal, I need, a, I need to film a hilarious legal commercial. I need to take over the legal industry. This is ridiculous. Can't confirm anytime you pause one of his videos, it's a weird face. Try me, pause it right now. I promise you, it'll be a normal face. Do it. Do it. See, totally normal. Totally normal. Not helping your case, Arby's. Alabama Arby's employee jailed after throwing hot grease on drive through customer police say. Please. Yeah, that sounds about right. I hope that person hires a lawyer and they sue the sh out of Arby's. Pretty dark today. There's, there's a lot of, uh, a, lot, a lot of things going on. A lot of people getting hurt. r slash attorney tom the only place where there could be a meme accident roller coaster video and a real accident carnival ride video only about four posts apart you never know what you're gonna get when you're clicking on a video on r slash attorney tom hey attorney tom before he begins i think this is the first video where somebody's actually made it specifically to ask me a question so i'm gonna i'm gonna hold off on my good job judgment until i hear the question I don't trust y'all. Remember that Seinfeld episode where the gang sees somebody getting hurt and they don't step in, so they get arrested? Considering I'm in the woods, if I hurt myself and someone walks past and leaves me there and I die or get injured and it's worse than it had to be, what are the criminal and civil ramifications of that? Thank you. Yeah, so... The short answer is, it depends. There could very well be a duty to act as a good Samaritan. So if I was walking in the woods and I saw you laying there on the brink of death and I decided to just keep on walking, there could be some criminal liability. Also potentially some civil liability, but in order to decipher this, of 
course, it's going to eventually have to come down to a jury, and it's going to depend on what reasonable people think uh, would have been the outcome. For instance, you needed to be an intervening superseding cause, or I say maybe even a lack thereof of an intervening superseding cause. So like if you would have died anyway, like let's just say I walked past you and I helped you out and you still passed away because by the time I found you, uh, it was already too late to save you. Well, then if I decided to keep on walking, you know, did that really change the outcome of what, uh, what your fate would have been? So there are just too many things at play here, but the short answer is yes, it depends. Potentially there is liability. Attorney Tom changed my life, not clickbait. I came across Attorney Tom's channel in late 2021 when scrolling through YouTube shorts, and it totally changed my life. The way he explained the law on YouTube just made sense to me. And while I enjoyed debates, hypotheticals, and counterfactuals, it wasn't until watching Attorney Tom that it all clicked. The Kentucky Colonel inspired me to take the LSAT and apply for law school. After some studying and working on my resume, I got accepted into Cornell Law. Yeah! My family is very proud of me, but I can't help but feel a little embarrassed that I only went down this route because someone on the internet was drop kicking toddlers. Anyway, thank you, Attorney Tom. It might be short, but you will always be a king. Despite defaming me multiple times in that post, that was really nice. And uh, congratulations on going to law school. I just want to say, suck it, Devin. Suck it, Nick Ricada. You haven't done shit. Look at that. Look at this guy going to law school because of me. And he's going to Cornell. So that means he's a nerd. This guy or girl is probably going to be a managing partner at some big law firm someday because of me. Actually, don't become a managing partner at big law firm. They represent mega corporations. I see mega corporations. Mega corporations are really evil. You get the point. This guy or girl is going to be a Supreme Court justice or girl because of me. 